let's take a normal tissue cell let's take a normal tissue cell so let's say glucose is standing out here as well correct what would happen this glucose will be moved into this cell with insulin forget about neurons when this moves in this cell what would happen to the osmolality drop this osmolality drop is universal in the body right which will cause what movement of water into the cells regardless of glucose movement right so brain's tissue that are glucose dependent will become swollen because of glucose movement and neurons that are not glucose dependent will swell because of a universal drop in osmolality and why did the universal drop in osmolality occur because of insulin so rest of the body picked up glucose caused reduction in osmolality that caused increased volume in the extracellular fluid that volume is going to start shifting in all cells including neurons and when the neurons get that they are trapped in a skull they don't have enough space to to swell and that would be the cerebral edema this happens in 1 to 2% of the patients right and then 20 to 40% of those will die and normally this is a problem of the young so one of the principles as we said over here principles of uh, of treatment one of the principle of treatment is do not rapidly correct the volume problems and and glucose issues levels because of this right so if i can tell you a few principles to keep in mind first principle is correct the volume 